All eyes were on the Vatican this morning, where the Cardinals are now just hours away from taking their first vote in the process of selecting the next pope. NBC's Lester Holt is there watching over the smokestack for us. Lester, good morning to you. Matt, good morning. The Cardinals started their day at a mass inside the cathedral or inside the basilica where there was a call for unity in the Catholic Church. This will be a day mostly of prayer, pomp, and certainly ancient tradition. We expect it to end, though, with the first vote and the first puff of smoke as the Cardinals get down to the business of electing a new pope. For the voting Cardinals, it was their last contact with the general public until after they elect a new pope. An open mass celebrated in Latin that drew thousands into the Vatican Basilica. Later today, the 115 princes of the Catholic Church will offer more prayers in a private setting before filing into the Sistine Chapel. There will be no more than one vote held this afternoon or early evening. Vatican experts say to look for black smoke from the chapel's chimney, an indication that the cardinals have not yet reached a decision. There is zero chance of electing a pope on one bell. On Monday, the cardinals held their last formal meeting to size up the state of the church and, to some extent, to size up each other. In choosing a leader of the Catholic Church, they are also choosing their own boss. New York's Cardinal Timothy Dolan said on Sirius XM Radio he's ready to get on with the process. Even today, we began to get into the qualities that we'd like to see in our new Holy Father. It was remarkably enriching and uplifting, but I'm kind of happy they're over because we came here to elect a pope. Part of the process included swearing in 90 staff members, from medical to cleaning personnel, who will attend to the cardinals during the conclave to an oath of secrecy. If a pope is not chosen today, the cardinals will take two votes Wednesday morning and two in the afternoon. Then each day through Friday, with a pause on Saturday. Only the color of smoke from an otherwise unremarkable chimney pipe will tell us when the work of the Cardinals is done. And then, only from this papal balcony, will we learn his name. The American Cardinals got a rousing send-off and ovation as they left the Pontifical North American College en route to this morning's Mass. They were all smiles and appeared relaxed before getting down to the business of voting for a new Pope. And, Matt, we should note, if there is a vote today, we would expect to see smoke, if it's going to happen, sometime roughly around 3 o'clock Eastern time. All right, Lester Holt at the Vatican for us this morning. Lester, thank you very much. Father Robert Barron is an NBC News analyst, and Claudio Lavanga is NBC's Rome bureau chief. Joe, both are joining us this morning from Vatican City. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Matt. Claudio, let me start with you. Some articles in the last couple of days have talked about the fact that there may be a split in factions among these cardinals as they head into the Sistine Chapel. One paper describing it as the Romans versus the Reformers. So why don't I begin with you, and why don't you break down the Romans for me? Well, the Romans, Matt, are made of those who support the Roman Curia as it is. The Roman Curia really is run by the uh, Italian cardinals, and the Italians make up uh, 28 cardinals among the 115, and that's the biggest contingency by nation, of course. Well, the next one after that will be the American cardinals from the United States, and that's 11 cardinals. Now, they have different views. The Italians want to keep things as they are, even though many cardinals have criticized the way the Vatican has been run by the Roman Curia, you may think of it as the government of the Vatican State, while the Americans, well, these ones, the Italians, are known as the old guard, let's call them, while the, while the, uh, the opposite faction is the reformers, led by the Americans, those who want to internationalize uh, the Vatican and want to just push forward uh, the mission of evangelization uh, towards the conservative way the Vatican is right. run by now. So who are the two front runners there? One is the Angelo Sodan, well, sorry, the Angelo Scola uh, on uh, the Italians, while the other ones, the reformers, are led by none others than two American cardinals, well, Cardinal Timothy Dolan and Cardinal Sean O'Malley. And, and Father Barron, it seems a little counterintuitive that the Romans, as we're calling this largely European group, might actually be backing a Brazilian cardinal, Cardinal Sher of Sao Paulo. Yeah, we heard that early on, that they were getting behind him as sort of a, a front or a face for their uh, movement. The word here is that that, has, that balloon has, has burst, and he probably is not going to get the support that, uh, that he require. 
Something I find fascinating is there are some Italians and Europeans who are very much backing the Reform Party. Many here are looking to Americans for a variety of reasons. One is good old American pragmatism, that Americans can get things done. Also that American Cardinal Sean O'Malley comes very much to mind, have been dealing with the sex abuse crisis for a long time, so they have that know-how. I think the most amazing thing, two weeks ago you asked me about an American candidate. I said, chances slim to none. Now we're talking about not one but two who are very serious candidates. If Sean O'Malley comes out in that loggia behind me in a few days as the new pope, he can address that crowd effortlessly in a variety of languages. That struck a number of people here I've heard because Americans were known as the people that just know one language, they just know English. Sean O'Malley got up at those congregations, spoke in, in perfect Italian, very much impressed a lot of the Europeans. So we'll see. That's the most, to me, fascinating development in this whole thing. And, and, and Claudia, to end with you, George Weigel said there is zero chance that the Pope will be elected on the first ballot. What are the predictions there? What are the people in the know predicting in terms of the length of this conclave? Well, Matt, if you think of this as a political election, then this will be, today's voting will be the primaries. Well, the cardinals will be figuring out how many votes uh, the front runners will have. We don't even know whether the ones we mentioned are the front runners. So that will, should bring down the numbers of possible candidates from 115, of course, all the cardinals, two, three or four who have the backing of the majority. So in a way, it's very, it's rare and almost impossible that if they vote this afternoon, because they may decide not to, we will get black smoke simply because it should, it, they need 77 votes out of the 115 and they're not going to get it tonight. All right, Claudia Lavanga and Father Robert Barron at the Vatican for us this morning. Both of you, thank you very much.